We're getting answers on the investigation into the hit and run crash in Hadley back in October that left a 13 year old boy seriously injured. The Northwestern DA's office held a briefing earlier today revealing some new details in that case. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us live in Hadley with the latest. Kristen. Chris and Mary, when that boy was hit, he was riding an electric scooter on this crosswalk here behind me. Now we're getting an update on where that investigation currently stands, as well as how the public can help. A 13-year-old student at Hopkins Academy in Hadley was seriously injured when a van hit him while he was crossing a crosswalk on Route 9 in October. The van is an extended cargo style van with no side windows except for those on the driver and passenger side doors. The van appears to have a dent or some type of body damage to the passenger side rear quarter panel. An investigation has been ongoing for months to find the driver who hit the boy. Western Mass News attended a briefing on Friday where investigators released new information, including details about the van in question. It does not appear to have been bearing a front license plate that morning. Either it was removed or fell off, or perhaps the van is from a state where front license plates are not required. And photos of the van allowed investigators to narrow the time range more likely to the years 2003 through 2006. On your screen now is a detailed map of the route of travel they've determined the van took that morning, both before and after the hit and run. Investigators say the van was first seen pulling into and stopping at the Big Y in Amherst approximately 45 minutes before the crash. The driver did not exit the van. The van proceeded to loop onto Route 9 in the University Drive area for about 10 minutes before eventually heading west on Route 9. The driver proceeded fairly straight down Route 9 westbound until the scene of the crash. During a portion of this stretch, the van was followed by a PVTA bus. Just prior to striking the boy in the crosswalk, the video from the PVTA shows the van swerving abruptly to the left, indicating that the driver likely saw the boy in the crosswalk at the very last second. Police say the van then sped away at a high rate speed after striking the boy. They have already investigated dozens of tips, but are still calling on the public for help. Somebody absolutely knows something. We have no doubt about that. It's just a matter of coming forward, whether it's anonymously or not, and doing the right thing. Now anyone with information is asked to contact the Hadley Police Department. Coming up at 6, I'll have more from the Hadley Police Chief, who is sharing what safety improvements are being made to this crosswalk. For now, reporting live in Hadley, Christopher Burnell, Western Mass News.